Hey mathematicians, let's do some more subtraction using an algorithm, written algorithm, this time with trading. Let's take a look at our first example here, 21 take away 2. Just like any algorithm, I need to write it out nice and neatly to start. 21, the bigger number I'm putting on top, 2, the smaller number I'm putting beneath it. And I'm making sure that I'm putting my 1's column nice and neatly, my 1 underneath my 1, keeping that column and my answer line and my symbol. All right, let's have a look. Starting with the 1's column, I start take away from the bigger number. So 1, take away 2. I can't do that. So this is where the trading comes in. I need to take 1 from my 10's column over to my 1's column so that I can do this subtraction. This trading is just like trading a long from my 10's column into 10 ones. One long is the same as 10 ones. So if I took one from my from here, there would only be one left because I've taken one away and I've brought it down to this ten to the ones column and I've written it there. So that now this one in my ones column is actually eleven because it was the one that was already there plus the extra 10 that I brought down, I traded from my 10's column. So 11 take away 2, I can now do this subtraction. 11 take away 2 is 9. And now for my 10's column, well it's not 2 there anymore, we already took one of those 10's away. There's only one left, and I made sure that I crossed it out really clearly and wrote 1 above, so I knew and I remembered 1 Take away nothing, well, that's just going to leave us with 1. So 21 take away 2 equals 19. Do I check that for sense in my mind? That sounds right. 21, 20, 19. It sounds reasonable. Let's try this second example. 34 take away 19. Writing it out nice and neatly to start. Keeping those place value columns nice and neat. 4, take away 9, hmm, I know that I need to take away from the top number and take the bottom number away, I can't do this, the bottom number is bigger than the top number, so same situation, I'm going to have to trade, so I'll take one from this next column along, the, th the 3 in the 10's column, if I take one away from there, I need to cross it out, put a 2 up there so that I remember, and bring the 1 down, trade it down into the tens column. Again, same thing. That one that I grabbed from the tens column is the same as ten ones, and that's what I've brought down here. 14 take away 9. Hey, now I can do this. 14 take away 9 leaves me with 5. 2 take away 1 in the tens column, that leaves me with 1. 34 take away 19 is 15. That sounds reasonable. Let's try the next one. 15. Even though this is a three digit number and this is a two digit number, I've made sure that I've kept my nice columns. I know that the five both times is in the ones column and that means that the next one along, that's the tens column, the three, and the next one along the 1, that's also the 10's column. So I've made sure that they are nice and in line. Let's do this now. 5 take away 5. Yeah, I can do that. That leaves me with 0. 1 take away 3. Here we are again. We need to trade. So I'll go to the next column along. Cross that out. I've t I'm taking 1. That leaves 1 there. And I'm putting that 1 down here in the, in the column. 11 take away 3. That leaves me with 8. And now, back to this hundreds column. 1 take away nothing. Well, that's going to leave us with just 1. 607 take away 337. Alright, let's have a go here. 
the top number taking uh, with the bottom number taking away from it. So starting with the top number, take away seven, seven take away seven, oh easy. That leaves me with zero. Zero, take three away from it. Again, I can't do it. Hey, we're gonna have to trade. So I'll go to the next column. I'll take one away from that. I must write the new number there, otherwise I'll forget. And bring that one down. Now I've got 10, take away three. That leaves me with seven. And now in the hundreds column, five, take away three. That leaves me with two, 270. Next one here. 4,151, take away 37. Oh, it's a four digit number. We're taking a two digit number away from it. So again, I have to be really careful with my place value columns. Three is the tens column. Seven is the ones column. Now let's have a go. One, take away seven, cannot do. Here we go trading. I'll take one from there, that becomes a four. Bring that one down. Now 11. 11, take away seven, that leaves me with four. Four, take away three, that leaves me with one. Now even with my hundreds and thousands column, there's nothing to take away from it, so that makes it pretty simple. One take away nothing is one, I just bring that down. Four take away nothing is four. So my answer 4,114. This is a tricky concept. I'd like to do a few more examples. These numbers get bigger, they look a bit intimidating, but I know that I'm only going one column at a time, so it's not too hard. I couldn't do this subtraction in my head, but with the algorithm, I can subtract these big numbers. So you can see that I've got the bigger number on top. That's the way it should be. Let's go. Four take away two is two. Zero take away seven, I cannot do. We're gonna need to go up the column to do some trading. I'm gonna have to take that one. Even though it's the only one there, I'm gonna have to take it. Sorry. That becomes a zero. And I bring it down to become 10 here. 10 take away seven equals three. All right, zero take away one. Oh, we had a one there. It, we had to use it elsewhere. So it's zero take away one. I'm gonna to need to trade again. All right, I'll go to the next column. That becomes a six and I bring that one down to this column where I need it. Now I've got 10 take away one, can do that. That's nine. And now in our thousands column, six take away five leaves us with one. So 1,932. We had to do two rounds of trading there, but that's okay. Let's have a go at this one. Zero, take away two. Hmm, can't do it. Let's trade. That becomes a two. The one comes down. Now 10 take away two, I can do. That leaves us with eight. Two take away one is one. Zero take away three, can't do, need to trade. So I'll go to the next column and bring it down. That becomes seven. I bring the, the one down to the, back to this column. Now 10 take away three is seven. Thousands column, seven take away six. That's one, three take away two. That's one also. 11,718. Last example. Whew, these are tricky. Seven, take away seven. Easy. Three, take away four. Hmm, can't do it. Four is bigger than three. I'm going to need to trade. That becomes one. I bring the one down. 13, take away four. I can do. That's nine. One, take away one. Well, that leaves us with nothing. Five, take away eight. Can't do that again, so I'm going to need to trade. Go up a column, take one from there, and bring it back. 
15, take away 8, mm -hmm -hmm. might need to use my fingers a little bit there, that leaves me with 7. And last of all, 3, take away 2, leaves me with 1. So that massive subtraction, if I broke it down into my algorithm method, working from my 1's column, one place value column at a time, had to do some trading, but I got there. 17,090.